Hello, battle masters of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for taking a look at the 12th combat maneuver with me. Today, we're going to be taking a look at pushing attack, which is quite aptly named if you ask me, although it's far more than a push, as you'll find out in the near future here. Uh, this is perfect not only for showing your raw intimidation and brute force, but also by maneuvering the battlefield and potentially shaping the outcome of a otherwise perilous battle. In any case, let's get a look at the description here. It reads as followed. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die to attempt to drive the target back. You add your superiority die to the attack's damage roll, and if the target is large or smaller, it must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, you push the target up to 15 feet away from you. Fantastic! A decent amount to unpack there though. Let's take it down to the overview section and go over it. When you boil it down, it's essentially when you hit a creature, expend a superiority die, add the roll to your damage, and on a failed strength to save, the creature's pushed up to 15 feet away. A couple things I would like to point out here. First and foremost, sadly, it specifies it has to be a creature. Um, what that means is you can't use it on an object and send it flying, although as a DM I would allow it personally. Secondly, it's after you hit, which is really great. Honestly, I find these maneuvers to be quite a bit better than um, their before you hit or otherwise counterparts. The reason being is this guarantees you can't miss and through extension guarantees you aren't wasting a superiority die. And the third part I'd like to point out that people often overlook is it specifies up to 15 feet. What this means is it can be any distance, be it 5, 10, or 15 feet. Well, this might not seem super important, depending on the battlefield your DM laid out for you, you could potentially leave a target trapped in some nefarious device, push them off a cliff, or if there's a concentration spell handy like Cloud of Daggers, you can push them into it and have them start their turn there as well. Very, very cool stuff. Honestly, I really like this one. It is one of my favorites if you can't tell already. I just like the ability to control the battlefield and I find that that is probably one of the most important and recognized features of the Combat Master as a whole. In any case, if you have any crazy ideas, cool concepts, or interesting stories involving pushing attack, please put them down in the comments below. I love reading them, I love looking into them, and I love chatting with you guys. Thank you so much as always, and happy adventuring!